Next, we are going to see a very interesting property of matrix multiplication. Remember when I said to you that matrix multiplication was the vector equivalent of normal scalar multiplication? So that's true, but not all the properties of scalar multiplication apply to matrices. For example, in scalar multiplication, you can, use, you can do two times three, and that's equal to three times two. In fact, in general, A times B is equal to B times A. We say that scalar multiplication is commutative. So we can flip the two product and the result is always the same. But when we are in our vector world, when we are multiplying matrices, turns out that this is not true. Matrix A times matrix B is not the same as matrix B times matrix A. So in general, we say that the product is not commutative. Let's see an explanation for that. Have a look at this example. So in this example, I have a matrix A, and this matrix represents a projection into the x-axis. And now I have a matrix B, and this matrix represents a rotation 90 degrees anticlockwise. We have seen these examples in previous problems. Now we do the multiplication A times B, and we get this matrix here. But if we do the multiplication B times A, we get this matrix here, which is different. Okay, so A times B is different to B times A. Now, why is this? So there is uh, an intuitive way of explaining it. Imagine we are in a two-dimensional space. And we start with a vector V, okay? So let's apply the matrix A times B. So to apply this matrix, it means that we have to first do the transformation B and then do the transformation A from right to left, yeah? So first we need to rotate this vector 90 degrees anti-clockwise, so we end up with this. That's the transformation B. And then we apply transformation A, which is project into the x-axis, which means that we project this here. And we end up with this vector here. So this vector here will be A, B, V. Okay, let me put it red. However, if we start with the same vector V, and we do the transformation in the opposite order, so we first project vector V into the x-axis. So we end up with this vector here. And next we apply a transformation B. So we rotate this 90 degrees anti-clockwise. So we end up with this vector here. And this vector is B times A times vector V. So we immediately see that AB times vector V is different to BA times vector V. And this is true for any vector in general, yeah? So this means that AB is different to BA. So the matrix A times B is different to the matrix B times A. This is what happens in general. And the, the name we give to these two transformations is that these two transformations don't commute which, with each other. Actually, there is usually an example given in the, by, I, I don't know who, who came up with this example, but putting on shoes and socks are an example of a non-commutative operation. Because it's not the same thing putting your socks and then putting on the shoes, that if you try putting on the shoes and then putting on the socks. It's not the same, yeah? So matrix operations are not commutatives. Matrix multiplication is not commutative. However, some matrices do commute with each other. So it's not a general property, but some matrices do. And this is the case for this example here. So in this example, we have a matrix A, which actually represents a rotation 90 degrees clockwise.
And then we have this matrix B, which represents a rotation 45 degrees anticlockwise. So then if you calculate A times B and you calculate B times A, you get the same result. How is this possible? Well, it's possible because these two operations commute with each other. It doesn't matter if you first rotate 90 degrees clockwise and then 45 degrees anticlockwise, then if you first rotate 45 degrees anticlockwise and then 90 degrees clockwise. The result is the same because the order of these two operations doesn't matter. And this can be seen in the fact that the two matrices commute with each other. Okay, that's the name that we give to this phenomenon. And this is actually a very, very important property when you study quantum mechanics. So some quantum mechanical operators commute with each other, others don't. And this is the origin of the famous Heisenberg uncertainty principle. So we are getting at very profound things, but we are at first year maths level. So let's not try to explain that yet. You will learn all about it in next years. For now, remember that some linear transformations don't commute and it means that the matrix associated with them is not the same if you multiply a times b than b times a it's not the same and some other transformations do commute and when that happens a times b is equal to b times a so thank you for listening